Hello guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good to see you one more class. Welcome to your class number five. Today is Tuesday, June 27th. Good evening. <laughs> yes. And we are going to have today a new topic. You will see in a moment in the class presentation. We are going to learn about containers, the vocabulary for containers, especially for non-count nouns, and also uh, giving advice, suggestions, and recommendations with can and could. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you and congratulations to all the people who sent the homework. You did a good job. <laughs> and thank you for your responsibility. So guys, in this session, you will listen to vocabulary related to containers following this part. A conversation between a pharmacist and a customer will take place. Modal verbs for requests and suggestions are introduced. As I told you, the modal verbs are can and could. You are going to learn how to use them. So we have recalling previous knowledge first, then we have given advice to help problems, conversation time, and wrap up. Are you ready to start? Ready, teacher. Great. Yes, we are. <laughs> Very good. Okay, before we start with the topic today, I would like to show the some of the, oh, I didn't have time to comply all of, your homework, but I took two. Okay, the first two, um, for example, this one, I need to study, but I can concentrate. What should I do? It's a good idea to find a quiet place. It's important to focus on the subject. Excellent job. You are using adjectives and nouns and then the infinitive to find, to focus. The other ex exercise, I feel sick before every exam. What should I do? It's a good idea to drink tea before the exam. It's important to control your nerves. I forget about half of the words I learned. It's a good idea to practice more. It's necessary to take vitamins. I get nervous when I speak English to foreigners. You should feel safe. It's a good idea to listen carefully. Okay, so I am happy that you were using the structure perfectly, right? There's no mistake. So very good job. I have this other one. And I need to study. It's important to take vitamins. It's sometimes helpful to eat healthy food. I recommend you to study every class. It's important to sleep enough time and to do or to make a summary of every unit. I recommend you to take brain vitamins. It's necessary to practice every word 10 times at least making sentences. Good pieces of advice too and good use of the structure. Okay, so thank you to all the ones who sent the homework. I was reading the other ones, trying to check 
okay? But I didn't have enough time to put all the examples here in the slide. But again, I am happy that you were using the structure correctly. If you were not in the class yesterday, you can watch the class on YouTube or in the platform so that you can get an idea about what we studied yesterday. So today, let's learn about containers. Okay, so as you notice here, uh, we can use this vocabulary or these words to be more exact when talking about quantity. <laughs> For example, a slice of pizza, a slice of cheese, a bottle of water, a bottle of ketchup, a spoonful of sugar, a spoonful of medicine, a bag of popcorn, and a bag of cheese. So when we want to mention like the exact quantity or containers of these things, we use these words, but there are more. For example, <clears throat> we have a jug of lemonade. This is the container, the jug, a jug of milk, a can of peas, a can of beans, a jar of pickles, a jar of Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. A bucket, a bucket of fish, a bucket of chicken, like in Tokyo fried chicken, you can find a bucket of chicken. <laughs> and yeah, so as you notice, if we want, as I told you, right, we say, oh, a jug, new vocabulary for you, maybe. You can take notes of the new vocabulary, the new words. And now over here, we have, you can see here these kits. And we have to complete the expressions with the correct containers. For example, we have pain medicine. Can you see it? The pain medicine, but what is it? A can. Mm, pain medicine. Is it a bag, a bottle, a box, a can, a jar, a pack, stick, or tube? A bottle. Maybe a bottle. A mm. bottle. This is a bottle. A bottle of in medicine. Okay, what about bandages? Bandages. Um, what is this one? In a box. In a, a box. box. A box. Yeah. A box of bandages. Uh, what about a cough drop? A cough, cough drop. drop. Yeah, cough drops. Wow. In a pack. Mm. Huh? Is yes. right. Be, but if you in a look bag? a bag, yeah. A bag, yeah. A bag, a bag of cough drops. The other one. The other one. What the is other it? I see. I see, yes. And <laughs> that's why we have the, the brand Lady Speed Stick, right? <laughs> it's a stick. Oh, it's not working. Okay. What about face cream? This is face cream. Face cream. A bottle. It's not a bottle because we had a bottle of Coca Cola, a bottle of. Or like a jar. Jar. Then. Mm. It's like a jar, teacher. Jar. Um, not, okay. not really. A bag, you see? Un bote de crema. But, but, but look at the material. Look at the material of this. Bottle? I don't know. It's, pla it's like plastic. Hard. Maybe jar. Jar. Okay, the majority says jar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, 
I mean, look look at the uh, previous pictures about the jar. Jar is um, a jar. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, here. A jar of pickles, a jar of jam. Un recipiente grande. A jar. And uh, it's usually jar, frasco. Jar is, is frasco. Frasco. Yeah, but these look... Ah, uh, sí. Look, it's different. Hay que abrirlo. Stick. The material? Look at the material. Have you had these, for example, like big? The big? Ah. The, the lata. Yes. It's, it's like a can. can. A can. A can of face. Okay, what about shaving cream? The shaving cream. Not a... Well, actually it says here, sometimes more than one answer is correct. Okay, what about the shaving cream? Two. It's like a. It's two. A bottle? Like a bottle. Yeah, a bottle of a shaving cream. Mm -hmm. Could be. <laughs> or maybe this could be a jar. Yes, Stephanie. I think it's more like a jar, right? Oh, I don't know what is this recipient exactly. What would you say in Spanish? Un bote? Un bote. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the tissues? Like cleaning? And a box. A pack or box? Mm -hmm. A pack or a box of uh, tissues and toothpaste? This is easy. Oh, a tube, a tube, a tube of, a tube of toothpaste. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So this is a medicine cabinet. Or the emergency, no, no, not the emergency kit, but a medicine cabinet where you can find different things. Now, guys, we are going to uh, practice a little bit more about the vocabulary for containers in the following exercises. We are going to work on some exercises <clears throat> online. We are going to start with the food containers, containers of food, because we place the food in containers. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have, for example, we had this, biscuits, tuna, coffee, jam, juice, Coke, chocolate, chocolate and water. So we say a bottle of water. water. A bottle of water. Water. A cup of coffee. Coffee. A cup of coffee. coffee. A tin of what is tin? Tin the same as can. Tuna. A tin of tuna, exactly. This is similar to the can. A packet of biscuit, biscuit chocolate. 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 A box of chocolate. chocolate. A box of chocolate. 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 You don't pronounce the second O. Chocolate. 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 Okay. A carton of juice. 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 A jar of jam. 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 Marmalade. And a can of Coke. 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 Let's check the answers. What is jam? Jam, marmalade. 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, that was for for a for food. We have another one here. <laughs> okay, what about milk? A we bottle. have options. Yes, a bottle of milk. This is what is this? A glass. Glass. Okay, a glass, a glass of water. water. Okay, and the a jar. A jar. A jar. Remember what is the the word for pichel? Pichel. Mm -hmm. I show you in the first slide. Bar. Okay, uh, you were you're confusing with jar. This mm -hmm. jar is a jar. A jar. A jar of water. Okay. What about tea? A cup. 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 A, a slice, slice. Oh, no. this is a slice. It's a piece of bread. This is a slice yeah. of bread, but the whole bread is it's a piece. A piece. No, it's not a piece. This is a complete bread. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. The big is low. A piece of bread. I know. Oh, a lot of bread. This is a slice of bread. Milk. Carton. A carton. A carton. A carton of milk, yes. Of Coke. Can. 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 Coke. Ah, but we we also have Coke. Uh, <laughs> In a bottle. That's right. Oh. A bottle of Coke. Sugar. Yeah. Look at the recipient, look at the container. A bowl. A bowl. A bowl. Yes, a bowl of sugar. Meat. A kilo. A kilo. kilo. A kilo. In our country, we don't use kilos. What do we use? Pounds. Pounds, exactly. We use pounds. Very nice. Okay, so. A piece. Mm. A bar. A, a bar. bar. A bar of. Una barra de jabón. <laughs> a bar of chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> a piece. A piece. A piece. piece. And this is a. A piece. A bar. Finally, a bar. What is missing? I can see it. A jar, a packet, a can, a bottle, a bowl, a piece, a piece. It's missing one, right? <laughs> well, this is also okay. So, no, guys. This is all a piece of 
for furniture. This is a piece, a piece and a piece of furniture. Happy. Okay. Sure. <laughs> no lo tiene, right? Doesn't have it. No. <laughs> and this is a. Uh, was where was it? I think it's missing one, right? Yeah, it's missing it because it's a piece of chocolate too. Anyways, good job. Mm -hmm. All of them were correct. Very good. Okay, let's go over the next exercise. The next exercise. Okay, this one I will send it to you because it's very long. And maybe you can also, uh, well, we can do it quickly. Teacher. Yes? Uh, a love is a barra. Love, L-O-A-F. No, it's uh, Ogasa. That is the name in Spanish. It's like, for example, when you buy baguette, when you buy a baguette, the baguette bread, mm -hmm. it's a love of bread. Uh, I I, I love, love for in the tradu tra traductor I don't know. Eh, cuando va al super y compra y compra la barra de pan grande o sea la la hogaza completa exactly mm -hmm. that is the name in Spanish hogaza the la como una rebanada no rebanada es no es rebanada es cuando no es completo sino que hogaza es completo todo el pan yeah, like, hogaza solo es un pedazo bread. la rebanada solo es un rebanada. pedazo Perdón. rebanada ah. es cuando ya viene de fábrica Fisher. y hogaza uno la hace Fisher, no, hogaza es cuando viene completo todo el pan y sí. uno la parte el sí. pan completo uno. la torta o el pan completo el baguette por ejemplo es a loaf of bread the meaning that the uh, that word no is uh, translation. There's no, no translation. No, no, no translation. That is the one that I know. Translator. Ogasa. Because because if when I put in translate a uh, bar, a bar uh, since a uh, a bar, <laughs> un bar. I don't know. Es que no se dice barra de pan. Es love of bread. Okay. L O A F. A love of barra era para el jabón. Exactly. Sí, es que lo, For example, if you que... let's look here. A love of bread. Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, look, this yes. is a love of bread. Love of bread. This is what I got. Love of bread. And a slice of bread is a piece, a slice. This is a slice of bread. <clears throat> okay? A slice, a loaf. Para el pastel, ¿qué es? Cake. A piece of bread. A piece. Ah, a la piece. pieza. Of cake. Mm -hmm. I will send you this exercise. Maybe you can do it by your own. Okay? Because of the time, we have already got 24 minutes from the class. So I will send you the exercise so you can do it for homework. Um, <laughs> Oral? I, I try to do, to do the homework. Yes, try to do the homework. But not, not totally. <laughs> but I, uh, I try some answers. Okay. Uh, for example, in 
I sometimes feel really stressed. Uh, what should I do? It's a good idea to listen to the music. It's important to do breathing exercise. And I needed to study, but I can't concentrate. It's help, helpful to do crossword. It's important to sleep well. And I feel sick before every, every exam. It's a good idea to shoot gum. <laughs> it's necessary. <laughs> it's necessary to keep calm. Uh huh. Um, just like that. Okay, Anna. Good job. You can send it in the group, in the WhatsApp group, so that we can read your homework. We share the homework with the other class. Okay. So let's go guys, we already did some of these exercises and now let's go over the conversation between the pharmacist and Mr. Peters. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please, could I have something for the back end? My muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a heating pad and why don't you try to scream? It works really well. Okay, I'll take one too. Also, my wife has a bad cough. <laughs> Can you suggest anything? Yeah, she should try these cough drops. Thanks. May I have a large bag? And what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you could get a box of chamomile tea. Is it for you? Yes, I can't sleep. A sore back and your wife's bad cough? I think I know why you can't sleep. <laughs> he has insomnia because he has a sore back and the wife has a bad cup. <laughs> okay, so uh, can you suggest anything? This is a question like, can you suggest anything? He's asking for us. He's, what is he asking for? He's asking for? Suggestion. Suggestion, exactly. What do you suggest? Right? What do you suggest for insomnia? For example, guys, um, um, the problems that we mentioned in the homework, like I, I can concentrate in the class, for example. What do you suggest? Can you suggest anything for that? Or you don't, you don't have that problem maybe because I see you very focused and concentrated in the class. <laughs> Or maybe for insomnia, what do you suggest for insomnia? Have you had that problem? A cup of tea with honey. Okay, but you don't say, what should I do with a cup of tea? It is important to drink a cup of tea with honey before go to sleep. <laughs> okay, yes, you can say that way. And also, you can mention like this. Uh, she says, why don't you try? So you can say that. I can't sleep. Why don't you try to drink a cup of tea? You can do it that way. Right? Mm -hmm. Why don't you try? It's here. I why can't cheat. Sorry, Juan? Uh, can't can't uh, try can't uh, cheat for insomnia. I don't get it. <laughs> o sea, contar ovejas. Ah. <laughs> Why don't you try to count? Okay. Why don't you try to count ships? 
One, two, three. <laughs> okay, I think that wouldn't work for me. <laughs> okay, so we have here the questions. Can you suggest anything? Um, what do you suggest for insomnia? And now let's let's go over the answers that he that she gives. The answers that she gives. For example, uh, she says it's a good idea to use a heating pad. She should try these cough drops. You could get a box of chamomile tea. You could get. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we studied, it's a good idea. Oh, it's important too. Uh, the previous day we studied she should, the use of should. But today we have another way. You could, you could get a box of chamomile tea. So we're going to learn how to use could to give suggestions. Let's see. What are the grammar points? Can, could, and may. Well, we know that we can use can for abilities, for talking about abilities, for asking for permission, but also we can use can for requests and for suggestions. Can, could, and may, three modal verbs. Three modal verbs that can function for requests, suggestions, and recommendations. Example, can I help you? Or may I help you? Can I have a bag of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of pain medicine? What do you suggest or what do you have for a backache? You could try this new cream. You should get a heating pad. Why don't you try these pills? So you can see we can suggest using could, should, or why don't you try? Different ways to do it. And the structure is easy. Can, could, or may. Subject, verb in base form, plus the complement. Remember, always. Always use the base form of the verb when you are using modas. When you use modas, use the, ver the base form of the verb. So you can see here the different questions. For requests, remember requests? When you ask for something. And suggestions? recommendations. So remember, could and should can be used for suggestions. Can, could, and may for requests. Because you are asking uh, for something, could and may are more formal, more formal, more polite. Look at the exercise and choose the correct words. You're going to help me to choose the right words, the right option. <clears throat> okay. Can or could I help you? Can. Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Then what is the correct one? What do you? Yes. What do you suggest yes. for dry skin? Why don't you try this lotion? Why don't you try this lotion? It's excellent. It's okay. excellent. Conversation number two. May. May. May I have something? May I have, may I have something for itchy eyes? Itchy eyes. Sure, you. Cool. You cool. Right, a recommendation. 
you could try a bottle of eye drops. Okay, conversation number three. Could I have a book? Could I have? It's a request. Could I have a box of bandages, please? It's here you are. And what do you suggest? What Try do you suggest? Yes. What do you suggest for insomnia? You you should. Try to try her body. It's very relaxing. Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay, so remember, can, could, and may asking for something, request something. Suggestions, why do you, what do you suggest? Why don't you try? Or you should, sure. <clears throat> okay, so now it's time for conversation time. We, you were going to work on a role play. The role play is, can I help you? So you are a customer in a drugstore pharmacy and you can choose. You need something for a backache, something for dry skin, something for the flu, something for low energy, something for sore feet, something for a, an upset stomach, and ask for some suggestions. And the student B is a, custom, a pharmacist, is the pharmacist in the drugstore. The customer needs some things and you make some suggestions. This is an example. May I, good, good, good evening. Um, may I have something for the backache? Sure, you should try this marijuana cream. Okay, this is my example. <laughs> I'm using should. You should try this marijuana cream. But marijuana. Ask, another way could be, why don't you try this marijuana cream? Or mm, I read, um, you can ask, what do you suggest for a packet? Mm, and you can say, you should try, you could try, or um, you should. Mm -hmm. So we have here the different ways that you can answer. <clears throat> so you're going to work in, in, in payers. You are going to prepare this role play and then you will present it. You will present it in front of the class. I will give you around seven minutes to work on this. And I will send you the, the slides so you can have an idea, better idea. I know there are some people who are just listeners this evening. Let me know. Okay, so go to the breakup rooms and I will send you the information right away so you can work on it.
para uh, para problemas de piel uh -huh. en la primera sí entonces uh, aquí sería sure and and you you can fly um, for the cream Mm. 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 Solar, ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Zoom mm. effect. Sure, you should try mm. this protect. Zoom protect. And. Alguien más tiene una respuesta. ¿Está? Kevin. Um, o por ejemplo, something from the flu. Algo para la gripe. Ajá. Este. Vamos a el... so, uh, you should... you should... No puedo ver bien. Tengo problemas de conexión. Uh -huh. Take flu. Take flu. Uh -huh. uh, Algo para la gripe. Yes. My son tiene for the flu. You should do take a pin. Patricia, Sandra, Ingrid, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Aha, you practicing? Mm. I tried yeah. this. You're trying. Yes. Okay, guys. Um, uh, what do you suggest for low energy? Mm. What do you suggest for low energy? May I, do you have something for low energy? You should drink a red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nelson says that I can take a nap. Yes, Nelson, but remember, I am in the pharmacy in the drugstore. You are the salesperson, the pharmacist. You have to give me some vitamins or you have to give me some something. You want to sell. Se quiere vender. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, may I have something for low energy? Supplement vitamin. Okay, pero dígalo, no va a decir solo suplemento vitamínico, usted le dice. Oh, yes, sure. okay, I think that you should try this uh, vitamin. They are very good for you. And they are um, in, um, on sale. It's not in effect, they are on sale. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, I want to listen to you practicing. ¿Podrían hacer más grandecita la letra? Okay. Uh, may I have something for um, Raya Skin? Sure. You sure try this. Okay, so most cute thing. <laughs> okay, you you should try this. Point. What what is, what is the pronunciation of the Omexan? The pronunciation of Omexan? Ah, it's most students. Most writing. Ah, most writing. So you should try the most writing thing. Okay. Most writer. Most writer. Most writer. Moisturizer. 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 I have a problem with my skin. I have a um, uh, allergy. With oh, skin. I think uh, you can try wake up. Hi, girls. We try, teacher. We try. You're trying <laughs> to recommend, uh, suggest. To give the recommendations or suggestions, okay? Remember, you are the pharmacist. You want to sell the medicine. <laughs> when you go to the pharmacist, they offer you a lot of things. <laughs> right? Ooh. Okay, you have... Uh, I, so, mm -hmm. I don't know if, uh, if uh, the nervous... But I forget all... <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you get nervous, you forget everything. You should, yeah, you should try to drink a cup of tea before the class to be relaxed, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so you don't feel nervous. <laughs> I will try with my partner. <laughs> exactly. Okay, how was the practice? Were you good pharmacists? Bad pharmacy teacher. <laughs> you didn't sell <laughs> you didn't sell the medicine. <laughs> when I you go everything. when you go to a real pharmacy or drugstore, the people there offer you a lot of things, vitamins, supplements, uh, food supplements. Uh, cream and a lot of things they offer you a lot of things <laughs> right <laughs> so i would like to listen a couple of students practicing i have recommend to to my classmate pepto is small <laughs> for an upset stomach yeah <laughs> okay very good milagro mm -hmm. who was your partner Caleb, David, and let me look for the girl. I, Geraldine. I, Geraldine. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you role play? Can you role play? 
um I I don't know if Caleb want to start. Hello. Ah, oh, it's Aleida. Aleida and you. Hey. Hello. Tengo problemas ahorita. Okay, Caleb. Yes. Um. Uh, Light, camera, again. action. You are going to role play the conversation between ah, okay. The okay. and the customer. I understand you are the customer in Milagro is the pharmacy. Okay. You are in San Nicolas Pharmacy. Light, camera, action. <laughs> um... Good evening. Can I help you? Okay. <laughs> Good evening. Can I help you? Yes. Um, you are a customer in, in a drugstore. I need I need something for for the flu. Uh, what 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 are you suggest? What do you suggest? What do you suggest? Well, you should try the syrup. Is Formula 44, Big Vaporu. Um, you have to, you, you should try to drink tea during the night and try with this cream, Kofal every night <laughs> nice thank you <laughs> <laughs> okay very good milagro and caleb good job <laughs> thanks teacher. okay well go fun for the flu if you have <laughs> yes it's the most cool the, 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 for the, the most <laughs> okay or a big <laughs> okay thank you so for the message maybe because you have you have sore muscles you feel pain okay very good so do we have another couple of students to role play the conversation now we are going to change the pharmacy now it's not San Nicolas now it's, <laughs> now it's pharma value it's cheaper right it's cheaper Okay, who? Who wants to try? Andrea, okay, Andrea is there. Andrea, and who is your partner, Andrea? Mm, este, Camila. Gracias, Camila. Me... Oh, pharmacist Camila. <laughs> okay, and do you want to role play the conversation? Um, I am um, the, the. Quiero estar en la farmacia. Yeah, you are the pharmacist. Yes. And the and who is your customer? Your client. Who is your client? ¿Quién es? Who is your client or customer? Andrea. Um, Juan David Madrid. David, you are the chosen one, David. <laughs> He looks sick, that's why now just kidding, David. Okay. Ay, yo pensé que me había salvado. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Andrea. Light, camera, action. Okay. Good evening, uh, my name is Andrea. Who I can I help you? Uh, please, I need you. Um, what did you? Uh, yeah. I need excuse. something. I need something. Uh, for um, for the. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. Something for the back chain. Back cake. Back cake. Back cake. Back cake. 
I suggest you to use a screen, um, maybe like a dollar cream, and you rest more, and you get to bed. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, and a plus for David and Andrea. Okay, you see, role plays help you to think about what to say in this situation. Well, guys, before I forget, I am going to take the attendance, and meanwhile, I need you to. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see. Uh, to write or to type in the chat uh, what you learned today, okay? The new words, the new vocabulary, the new expressions, please share in the chat whatever you learned in this class. And let's start with Aleida Samira Guadalupe Melgar. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Beatriz Martinez. Present teacher. Andrea Esther Acosta. Here, Miss. Brandon Steven? Gomez. Present. Okay, Caleb Ariel Rivera Avalos. Present. Efraín Emilio. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Geraldine Lisette Villera. Present teacher. Thank you. Oh, Emilio is present. Okay. Uh, Heber Virginia Tobar. Heaven, Virginia, not present. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Irma Adriana Segura. Irma Adriana Segura. Jacqueline Vanessa. Present teacher. Thank you, Jacqueline Vanessa. Eh, what about Jose Alejandro Vaquerano? He has for permission. Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. Juan Jose Garcia. I'm here. Julio Cesar Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay. Kevin Josias Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Kevin Lorena de Los Angeles Benjibar. Lorena. Lorena? Is Lorena in the class or not? I don't see her. So I think she's not. But she was having problems. Luis Ernesto Cibrián Montoya. Present teacher. Maria Jose Navarro. Merlin Daniela Carranza. Milagro de la Paz. Here I am. Mirna Landos. Present teacher. Ok. Nelson Adán. Sí, Milagro. I'm here, Miss. Ok. <ríe> And Nelson is here too. Patricia Esmeralda García. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Coreas. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Rivas. Present. Sandra Lisette Moza. Sandra Lisette Moza. Stephanie Miguel Quintanilla. I'm here. And Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you so much for connecting to the class on time. And thank you for your participation in the class. Remember, the more you participate, the better for you because you are learning more. Okay, guys, it's time to finish the class. And I will read quickly what you learned today. For example, I learned about containers, the use of can and should. 
Modal, can, may, and could, and about containers. The new words, containers, how to give suggestions for a health problem, may and can. Okay, thank you so much for your opinions. I will see you on Thursday, okay? Tomorrow we don't have class. We'll see you on Thursday and Friday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.